It's Monday, April 13, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. A stampede at a Kenyan university has killed one student and left hundreds injured. Panic erupted in the University of Nairobi's Kikuyu campus dorms on Sunday morning after an electricity transformer accidentally blew up. Students feared that the explosion was another attack by Al-Shabaab militants, leading some to try and escape by jumping from windows several stories high. Kenya is still on edge just one week after gunmen killed 148 people at Garissa University in the east of the country. Post-apocalyptic scenes unfolded in Russia's remote region of Siberia, where a massive wildfire has damaged more than 20 villages and killed four people. Officials said the fires grew after residents began uncontrolled grass burning. More than 118 homes have been destroyed in the several days since the fires began. Russia's emergency ministry said more than 1,000 firefighters had been deployed, but strong winds and dry conditions hampered their efforts. Water treatment plants in Iraq are struggling to cope with the rising level of pollution in the Tigris River. The waterway is so clogged that sewage and garbage are building up between boats and on the river's banks. Farmers have been left with no choice but to use the dirty water to irrigate their crops, leading to contaminated harvests. Staff at the treatment facilities also reported developing skin infections due to the hazardous pollution. Thousands of anti-government demonstrators protested near Copacabana Beach in Rio de Janeiro on Sunday. Protesters were driven by a massive corruption scandal at the state-run oil company Petrobras. Many also called for the ouster of President Dilma Rousseff, whose approval ratings have sunk to a new historic low. The carnival-like demonstrations were the second such gathering in less than a month. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world.